Hi, Mark Allen here from Hillsborough Golf Club. Welcome to our Performer's Studio. I'm here with a couple of tips that will hopefully improve your pitching and improve your scores. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first area that we need to start to think about with pitching is setup. If we don't set up to it correctly, then everything else is going to be that much more difficult. And one of the big influences that we get from setup is that we can really encourage the correct strike each time. And there's just a few things we need to think about with pitching that is slightly different to the normal setup. So with a normal setup, we'd probably have um, with a seven iron or a six iron, we'd have we'd have our feet uh, about shoulder width apart. But with pitching, because we're not getting as much weight transfer, we're not generating as much power. This is all about finesse. We don't need as wide a stance. Now what this does, the the, the narrower stance helps to keep us centered and will hopefully encourage a better strike. Secondly, in the full swing, we've got this wider stance, we have a weight shift on the way back, and on the way down, we transfer our weight forward, and at impact, we've probably got about 80% of our weight on our front foot. Now again, in the pitching, because we've got a narrower stance, we don't have as much lateral movement, but we still, to get a good strike, need to make sure we have at least 80% of our weight on our front foot at impact. So with this being a shorter swing, the simplest way to do that is just to set up with 80% of your weight on your front foot right at the beginning. So I'm going to take my normal setup, balls bang in the middle of my stance, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lean so that I've got 80% of my weight onto my front foot. And my feeling here is that my zip of my jacket is now tilted towards the target. And what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to take my normal setup, my normal grip, and I can feel like my shaft is leaning a little bit more forward because my weight is a bit more forward. And then during the swing, my main focus is to just keep my weight on this front foot at all times. So one of the keys with pitching is distance control. And one of the key elements at impact that influence distance control is the angle of the shaft at impact. If the shaft is leaning too far forward at impact, it's going to deal off the club. If it's straight at the ball it's going to have another loft presented at impact and if the shaft is leaning backwards it's going to have another loft presented at impact so if we've got a variety of shaft angles that we're creating at impact we're going to have a variety of lofts that are created on the ball and that's going to create different distances so a good little drill to help with this is with the use of a alignment stick or a garden cane you can do whatever you need you can have another golf club here as well if you wish but all we're going to do is we're going to grip on my normal grip on my log wedges I've got here and by putting the alignment cane in it's pretty much doubled the length of my club so I'm going to set up to a shot and as I swing the club back I'm going to feel my normal length of swing that I would do for a normal pitch shot but now if I come into impact and I flip my wrist too much, this cane is going to hit me in the side. And what that would be is if I'm, if I'm swinging down and I release the club too much, I'm going to have the shaft leaning back too far, the ball's going to go too high and we're not going to get enough distance. But obviously if I've done that now with this cane and I flip my wrist, it would have already hit me in the side. So, gripping the cane, doubling the length of the golf club with the cane and all we want you to do is just first of all start off with some practice swings you can do this in a garden you can do this in the living room and literally just hitting or swinging the club and feeling like your body's turning my body's got to really open up to the target to stop this cane from hitting me in the side if my body stops and my hands just flick it's going to hit me in the side so what this does, this, this great drill, you can progress to just hitting some shots with it, just some short shots with it, but by ensuring that your body's turning to stop this cane from hitting you in the side, it's creating a good sync between your arm movement and your body movement. Okay, hopefully as you can see there, with just two simple tips for your pitching, you'll be able to get the consistent strike, present the con consistent loft, onto the ball each time, uh, which will help you the distance control. So realistically, when you're pitching, that's all we need is a good strike, good distance control. So if you can practice those two things, 
then your pitching will improve dramatically.